hope you guys heard that burble. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a used SRT Durango. And obviously, these are a great deal now that they are pre-owned with a few miles. And this one, by the way, is certified pre-owned, so it does have an extended warranty. First and foremost, a huge shout out and thank you to the Dodge Ram here in Provo for providing us with this SRT Durango. I'm gonna include a link to their inventory where obviously you can view this vehicle and then a bunch of others. So definitely check them out. Let's get right into the video. Under the hood of the SRT Durango, we have a naturally aspirated 6.4 liter V8 Hemi that goes to an eight speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 475 horsepower and then 470 pound feet of torque. Fuel economy is 13 around town and then 19 on the highway. And then in terms of a zero to 60 time, it's about four and a half seconds. Now going over the front end on this SRT Durango, obviously the SRT brought in this crazy sport hood and now obviously the RT Durangos and all that have the sport hood, but it's still cool that the SRT brought about this. So you obviously have the little like heat extractors there at the top and the little air intake there at the front. And then you do get the projector bulbs, you got a little LED accent light there, performance front fascia as well. And then you got parking sensors all along the front. But again, this front end just looks super aggressive. And the way that you know things are real, SRT logo. Just, just saying, if it's an RT, it won't have that. So that's the front end. Coming around the side here, we've got two 95 millimeter tires on 20 inch rims. And then you do have the Brembo brakes. Now that's the setup for the front and for the rear. And just look how big those rotors are. Remember, these are 20 inch rims and the rotors almost fill up the entire wheel. I mean, absolutely crazy. You do get a little 392 badge there on the side. And then this one is finished in granite crystal. They body color match the little fender flares there on the side. But here is your full side view on the SRT Durango. Here's a key fob for the SRT Durango. You have a couple functions. You've got the unlock at the top. You've got the lock remote start and then the release for the tailgate. We'll do the remote start so you guys can hear that beefy 6.4 liter V8. Yeah, it, it definitely sounds good. It's got a good rumble. And the next function is, well, that release for the hatch. You press that. It is automated in the SRT Durango. Now coming to the rear here, just like all the other Durangos, you do get this little extra storage just underneath and behind the third rope. Got a little 12 volt right there. And then this is just to lower down the hatch again. This is for a cargo cover. And the seats are pretty easy. You just do that and then you push it forward. And then when you want to pull the seat back, just pull the strap and then you just pull the headrest back up. Pretty straightforward and we'll shut her back up. Now finishing things up in the rear, we do get another little SRT badge. And then notice that the exhaust tips are pretty big for a Durango. I love the exhaust note on this in general. But other than that, I mean, it just looks like any other Durango from the rear end other than those like little touches. So it's kind of a sleeper. Coming here to the back, the door panel in the SRT is actually really nice. So they got this cool little trim right here, very soft touch in terms of the leather right here. You've got this contrasted stitching that goes down. And then here are the seats. So this one has the red interior. So you got the white accented stitching and then it does say SRT again. But yeah, in terms of leather, very nice feel to it. Just like really plush in general. And you do have adjustments on the seats. Now I am gonna pop in. Oh, of course I hit the camera on something, but I'm gonna pop in here in the third row. Now I'm 5'11". Legroom is pretty good here in the third row. And then in terms of headroom, I mean, solid as well. You got a couple of vents back here for the SRT. You got heated seats for the second row. And then you got a couple of USBs and then a full power outlet. Now it's kind of hard to see, sorry, but up here you do have a little climate control section. This one has the center console option. So the third row gets a center console. You got another USB and a 12 volt, but yeah, this also doubles as a center console and it has a little storage at the top. Legroom in the third row is cramped, but you still get cool seats back there. So definitely a huge win. Coming up front, we do have Kia Sentry for the front. We do have blind spot monitoring with the mirrors as well. Now notice the door panel in the front looks identical material wise to what is in the rear. You do get the beat sound system with this particular one. Got the memory seats and then you have all the controls for the windows. Now the seats here in the front, again, they look pretty much identical material wise to the rear. Well, they are identical, but you got the SRT logo again. And then the bolsters are a little bit bigger, but this leather, you guys can just, hopefully you can see it like here, just like how soft it is. Very, very soft to the touch. Fully power adjustable for the seats. Here's what the pedals look like on the SRT. And then you got a little gas release right there. And then that is your light control. Steering wheel is actually automatically adjustable. And there's one more look before we pop in. You got a little red engine stop start button here in the SRT. It'll say Durango SRT right there. And everything will pop on and come to life. Here's the steering wheel in this SRT Durango. Now you've got the smooth leather at the top and at the bottom. And then you've got the grippier leather on the side. 
Now over here, notice that you've got the controls for the cruise control, the adaptive cruise control function, and then this is for the little center stack voice commands. Here's those paddles on the back. If you want to shift the gear yourself, you do have radio controls just underneath those paddles. But yeah, the steering wheel just has a really nice look to it. And there's your stock for the windshield wipers. So you guys can see the gauge coaster here. So you've got the speed over there on the side, RPMs front and center, because this is a performance vehicle. And wow, look at that fuel economy. But regardless, you guys can kind of see with the rest of this, you even have like the little SRT time. So you can do like your reaction time, which is pretty interesting. Oh. And it even shows you um, kind of like your recent quarter mile or eighth mile time, sorry. But yeah, that's pretty cool, quarter mile time. Now obviously this can do this a lot faster, but whoever was driving this wasn't like full pedal to the metal. And you can see like real time torque, which I think is just absolutely awesome. But we're just gonna leave it to be a digital speedo. Now here is the little gauge cluster. So you guys can see when I pop in reverse, this is the camera that pops up resolution on it, super good. I mean, you can see that cool green truck right there in the background with that. Now, the rest of the infotainment system, remember this is from 2018. This is the first year they did the SRT Durango, but the infotainment system is still really easy to use. Response time on is good. You do get the performance pages, which will take a second to load up. While those are loading up, you guys can see down here, you've got the analog controls for the infotainment system, analog climate controls as well. That's your stability control. You actually do get launch control with this, which is pretty cool. The SRT mode, which basically is for your drive modes. You got your lane departure and then your parking sensors. And this has popped up. So you guys can see it shows you like real time figures. So like if I press this a little bit, like just like barely going in the throttle, you can get more horsepower than what a Prius has, but like partial throttle tap, which is ridiculous. But shows you all the gauges and everything, which is pretty neat on that. And then we're gonna press the SRT button, which obviously will take you to the drive modes. You got a ton of different drive modes. You got your tow, your snow, auto, custom, sport, and track. Sport mode's probably gonna drive it in most of the time if you're having fun, or auto and just let it do everything for you. Got a couple of USBs and an auxiliary. Got a little 12 volt right there, some extra storage. Couple of cup holders. Here's that shifter for the eight speed automatic transmission. You can shift the gears yourself with the shifter or the paddle shifters, whichever you prefer. Got the center console here up front. So you got one center console, two center console. But opening it up, you got a little storage right there and then you can fully open it up. There is another 12 volt inside of it. And notice you can thread the cable right through there. Got more of that interesting material right there. Opening up here, we can actually find the uh, window sticker. Now, obviously this isn't brand new, but we still have a window sticker from brand new. But that's the uh, glove box. And finishing things up, let's pop up top. So you guys can see up here, this does have a sunroof, just a regular sunroof here in the SRT. All of your light controls, tailgate control, and that's everything for up top. Now, again, this isn't brand new, but this is the window sticker from brand new. If you want the current pricing on this, check their website so you can get the most up-to-date pricing for what this is certified. But you guys can see all of the different options this particular one has from brand new, the optional equipment as well. I mean, this is pretty good spec. There's your total MSRP from brand new, $71,060. Now, these used, if you get like a one that's like pretty beat up, really high miles, they seem to be like in that $50,000 range used if you guys are kind of wondering what the used market's like. But if you get like a really nice one, lower miles, it definitely does add quite a bit to the price. So it just depends on how beat up you want the car. So yeah, let's take this uh, not beat up SRT Durango with only 1,900 miles on it. See how it drives. Let's quickly talk about visibility before we set off here in the SRT Durango. So you can see visibility over the hood and it's pretty cool to see the uh, sport hood. There's your visibility through both of the mirrors. Remember you do get blind spot monitoring. And then here's visibility all throughout the rear, which I mean, even though this is a performance SUV, it's really good. And this is like the perfect time to show you guys the little headrest fold. So you do have a headrest fold control and I wanted to wait till now to show you. So your kids are in the back and all you have to do is just press a little button, boom. Whack your kids in the back of the head, get better visibility. Two for one deal. That all being said, let's set off. We are initially setting off here in the 20, or not. We're initially setting off here in the SRT Durango and it's actually been a while since I drove an SRT Durango and 
I kind of miss it because I really like the SRT Durangos just because of the added practicality of the third row. And it seems like these are always less expensive than the SRT Grand Cherokees. And I just think it's a better value than an SRT Grand Cherokee. And it also sounds better because Jeep, like for some reason, they just like their exhaust to be super quiet. I know they're kind of going for that like luxury car kind of vibe, I guess you could say, but I definitely think that they should make their exhaust louder like what Dodge does because the SRT Durango's exhaust sounds so much better than an SRT Grand Cherokee exhaust. But getting up onto the road here, initially setting off, it's really smooth. So even though this is what I would consider a very high performance SUV, I mean, the thing's got 475 horsepower, it's very smooth on the road and it's really quiet as well. You don't hear a whole lot that's happening around you. So just overall from like kind of more on like the luxury side of things, because this is in luxury car territory, brand new pricing, it does a really good job. And obviously we're gonna press our SRT button. We're gonna begin into uh, more fun drive modes, but going around here, I mean, the steering is a little bit on the heavier side for sure compared to most other SUVs. But again, you kind of are going for that sportier, more fun driving experience, but it definitely drives smaller than it is. So it's really solid on that. And just going around here in terms of the body roll, it's actually feels like it handles better than a regular Durango. It's definitely more in line with the RT Durango for sure, which is expected, but I think it handles even better than that. We'll go into manual mode, get a couple downshifts here, kind of see how those go. Yeah, that V8 sounds good. Yeah, that V8 sounds really good. Now, thank goodness we have a green light for once. Now, I'm not gonna go full, full throttle, but we'll get a good acceleration here. I hope you guys heard that burble. I try, that's what I try to get as a burble for you. It, it sounds really good. And thank goodness the cop was in front of us and not behind us, do you get, do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, the exhaust sounds good. Acceleration, I mean, four and a half seconds for a third row SUV absolutely ridiculous definitely feels like a four and a half second car but the thing is you get this nice like punchy feel because it is a big v8 and it feels so much better than a turbocharged car i can just tell you that right now because with the turbocharged cars you definitely do feel the turbo lag you don't feel like muscular feel that the durango has and let's get into summing things up with that so i think the srt durangos are a great value the best way to look at this is this is a third row SUV, so this is basically a minivan, okay? Just just stick with me here. This also tows over 8,000 pounds, so it's also a truck, okay? And 475 horsepower, so it basically is a performance car. So you get a minivan, and you get a truck, and you get a performance car all in the same bundle. And with the amount that these have depreciated used, they've held their value pretty well, but obviously they have lost some value they're just such a good deal. And so if that's kind of what you're in the market for, a vehicle that can tow, a vehicle that's fun to drive, and a vehicle you can carry a bunch of people around in, I can't really see anything else that's like as good of a value as this. It's just, it's so solid. And yeah, definitely check out the SRT Durango. And there we have it everyone, a used SRT Durango. And again, I think this is a great option to go for pre-owned. Obviously you can get one like this, a certified pre-owned with extended warranty. Or again, you can get one with pretty high mileage on it, but I mean, just crazy. It's like a performance bargain at this point. But that all being said, again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Dodge Ram here in Provo for providing us with the Durango. Check out their inventory in the link below. I will see all of you in the next video.